Hey guys, um, Stephanie, um, Edward spends much of the series resisting the idea of turning Bella, but it seems like it's a pretty awesome thing. Like you live forever and you can still have friends and family, superpowers. Um, even Jacob mentions that Bella seems like herself after she's been turned. Um, to you, is there any downside in being a vampire in this universe? And also, what do you see vampirism as a metaphor for? Um, well, with Edward, I think he resists happiness a lot in the first three books. He's afraid that he doesn't deserve it. He's seen a few examples of people being turned into vampires and not being very happy with it. Um, and so, in his, and he's not entirely happy with it himself. You know, he always feels like he didn't have a choice. And is he now, by definition, a villain, a bad person? Um, and he doesn't want Bella to feel that way. He doesn't know. I mean, in retrospect, it works great for her, and she's perfectly happy. And if he'd known it would have gone so well, he probably would have not been so resistant. Um, but for him, he's very, uh, he's a very cautious person. And becoming a vampire is forever. You don't get to change your mind about it later. And I think for me, that's one of the big drawbacks. Um, anything that's permanent, how do you know how you're going to feel in five years, ten years? I mean, even with like a tattoo, right? You know, the things that I loved ten years ago, I'm really glad I did not tattoo on my body because <laughs> I don't want them now. Um, so, I mean, permanence is a very scary thing to me. I think un things that don't change at all. Uh, as a metaphor, I don't know, vampirism for me was a way to live in fantasy and kind of have superpowers, but not just in a really perfect, happy, oh, everything is great. It's superpowers with a cost. It's, it's having to be the villain, and what do you do about that? Hi. Um, what was the day like, the last day of shooting, and does this feel like a graduation, and almost it's almost coming to an end? How, did, how does it feel that this well, family and this story is, is on its last The last, last day of shooting was great. <laughs> was, was it the w wedding reception? No, no, the last day was when we were in St. Thomas. Oh, no. that, yeah. that, took, that took the cake. Yeah, we, we finished the entire uh, series of movies in St. Thomas on a beach as dawn broke. And it was pretty great. You know, just, you know, Rob and Kristen and a small crew on, you know, s sort of shooting that, that midnight swim. And, and then we all got to hang out for a few more days and celebrate. Yeah, we had a really great time. It was, it was a really nice ending, actually, because it was uh, just kind of loud. There were just a few of us. We all got to hang out and be very relaxed because we knew it was over. It was a beautiful way to end up filming a movie. All movies should end in St. Thomas. <laughs> uh, Stephanie, this right here. This is a question for you. And did you ever consider the future generation being Renesme and Jacob's babies, half wolf, one half human, one half vampire? How do you picture that? Um, well, I, I mean, I had planned out where it would go for a couple more books. Um, so I know exactly what would happen, whether it was, I mean, there are, other characters that I think would have had a lot of voice in those coming stories. Um, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll write it out just for myself. We'll see. It, it, w it was fun. It's, it's hard right now because I was just, I had just been asked if the, char if the actors had gotten into my head as the characters. And while I was writing Breaking Dawn, they hadn't because I'd written a rough draft of that so much earlier, long before they were cast. Um, but now they are in my head when I when I work on the stories and it's hard for me to disassociate and that and that does feel like it's a little corrupted so it makes it more difficult I, I don't know I mean like I said I'm not into permanence so I wouldn't say no absolutely I'm not going to do it today I don't know how I'm going to feel in five years we keep sending her the George Lucas press releases <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>